Welcome back to another industrial design fundamentals video. This time around we're going to talk about turning a simple rectangle into a nicely rounded rectangle. So let's jump into the video. Let me start by sketching a square. Now to round these edges of the square. First of all, let's go back to last week a little bit. I'm going to construct another face here for the square to make this one. And I'm going to put an ellipse into it, just like that. Here's our ellipse. And I'm going to divide this square into four pieces. And we talked about this a little bit last time, but didn't go into detail. We have now four pieces of an ellipse here. Let me do it like this. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to subdivide this face. Let's say if I want to have the roundings here, how to have them correctly. Well, let me cut off equal parts from each side. So now I know I have these four little squares. Now the good thing is because I did this here before, I'm going to call this A square, B square, C square, and D square, and these fit to these squares. So I'm going to call this A, B, C, D. I'm going to take a red color now. And as you can see, this is going to fit here. And what's important is you look how this, uh, well, bends within the same circle. I'm going to take a blue one for the other side. This one will fit here. And as, as I like to put it, it's not, not the correct way of saying it. I just, it's easy for me. We always have two longer uh, half circles or quarter circles and two shorter ones. So I'm going to use red for this one as well. So this is a shorter one. This comes here like this. And then we have another longer one. This is D, right? This one and this should fit here nicely. There we go. And now I'm just going to go over it with black here as well. And then here as well. And now I can just say, let's prolong these intersection lines. Here, obviously, we have a new ending to our square. Here will be the same. Well, it's not the ending, but this is the, the bending point from which you don't see any further. And now, if, if we would want to, let me take a light green, I would say. Let me construct the invisible edges of this square. Somewhere here, somewhere there, yeah. And now I'm going to prolong this point there and this point there and this point there as well. We have this and I just have to prolong this one and these already we have. So now what I have to do is basically bring this one back here. It's going to be there. Well, actually I could build these cutting lines as well. Could have paid a bit more attention to them, but it should be fine. So this one comes here. This one will come there. This one, oh, I went to the wrong one there. It was there. There we go. And then here we have this one. Now, to, to go back with my black, this is a little bit ugly because I didn't connect it correctly. But as you can see, I come from here, I only draw part of that, and I make sure that I close the square I close the square here and I close the square there, draw this part, make this a little bit stronger and then just I can go over it here again as well just to make sure that my square is done. And this is how we have a nicely rounded square. Obviously I can do this a little bit. Let me repeat this. We create or draw our square. 
nicely in 3D. There we go. Now I'm going to cut off the sides and I'm not going to cut off. I just need these little rectangles there. And now I'm going to do the same thing as here. Let me, because this is a little bit in a different perspective. Let me just try to emulate the same perspective that I have here. Yeah, that sort of fits. I'm going to split it into four and I'm going to put an ellipse into it. Short, short, long, long, right? And now we know this goes here. It's a longer one, then a shorter one, longer one, shorter one. And now I just bring these back. I don't have to draw the back part now because I sort of know how that works. I'm just going to round it here. Bring this back and this rounded area, sort of like there. Connect, same here, along this, and then this rounded area with half that circle. And boom, we have another one. Let me do also one from the top. And this time, let's not use a nice square, let's use like a more rectangle type. One, two, three. Also important is to, to draw a little bit lighter when you know that you're drawing a square from which you're going to cut parts off or which you're going to round. So same idea. Make sure to get those nice little rectangles in the hooks or corners. And now I have this surface. Let me try and replicate that surface in the correct perspective in a square. Yeah, that would be it. Let's fit an ellipse in there and split it. So now I have a long one here, a long one there, a short one here and a short one there. So that I know this comes here. This is a short one. This will be a short one as well. This will be a long one and that will be a long one as well. Now the same thing, prolong all of these. We can call them cutting lines as well. Now here we have a new edge. On this side, we also have a new edge, a little bit of bending there, a little bit of bending here, and then just reconnect yeah, and bring the whole thing down here, the nice bend. There we go. Another nice bend. Now, we sort of understand this. Now the, the harder part comes. Let me put this aside and put these papers here. So how do I make a, a nicer bend? Well, question is, how do I make this whole thing so I don't have an edge, but I have a really nice smooth sort of edge there? Well, this is going to be a little bit more complicated. So let me draw a big square. Same idea again. I'm going to create those corners that I like. Let me switch to the blue so we won't have too much confusion. And I'm going to create the inside. All right, so now what we have to do is not just this one side like we did before. We have to create these little divisions on each side of the square. Might have been a little bit narrow there. I want to make them as equal as possible. So here I might have to go a bit to the front. There we go. So now we have one on each side. So the trick here is that we can't draw on the outside because we're still going to end up with edges. What we have to do is we have to go one side in. So like we have to, we have to go in there and in there. So as you can see the arrow here, we're going to go one unit and the unit is the length or, or size of this cube. For that, I'm going to construct also the inner lines. So let's say from this point, we go down here, right in the back. From this point, we go down there. Then from this point, I know this gets a little bit confusing and with uh, 
my talking is not so good. Basically what I'm doing, I'm putting these first of all on the back sides as well, like the invisible lines. There we go. And I need from there, right? Yeah. So that would come something like that. Then I need to connect these two. I need to connect the ground ones as well. I think I now, uh, this one was missing. And that one, obviously, then. There. And there. Okay, so now it's getting a little bit complicated and hard to see. Basically, let me add just a little bit of blacks here so we can see our cube a bit better. There we go. Now, I have to do the same thing on the inside. For that, I'm going to take an orange. I'm going to connect this point with this point in the back. There we go. I'm going to connect this point with that point in the back. There we go. And now this basically with this one or down here, these two. There we go. So now we have a mini cube here, like one of the big cube. And I am going to create surfaces again, which will lead us how to draw these uh, ellipses that we're going to need to create the nice rounding and curving of the edges. Uh, so this goes for this side, this goes for this side, so we need one for the top. Shall be somewhere here. There we go. So now I have to put an ellipse into each of these. One ellipse is here. One ellipse is there. One ellipse is there. I feel like this could be a little bit nicer. Something like that. Same technique where we split these rectangles. There we go. And now in all rectangles, we have long ones and short. Well, it's not long and short. I would say, let's call them more angled, right? Like this is more angled and this is less angled. Same here, we have a super strongly angled and we have a laid back smooth one. Now, now we have to do what we did before, each applied to its own surface or layer, but we're not drawing it on the outside. That's why we constructed this inner ones. So for this side, I'm going to take obviously this here and I'm not drawing it here. I'm drawing it on the inside. So take this one and put it into this rectangle. There we go. On this side, we go also one level deeper in. We have to take this one here and I have to draw it on this one. So like that. So these were the two long ones. Oh, this was this was actually a short one, yeah. And then down here, I'm taking the super laid back one and I know that it has to be something like this. There we go. And now this I will have to do for the rest as well. So once again, this has to be connected with that. And this has to be connected with this. There we go. And then now we created this little cube here as well. I'm going to draw the line. So this one I can just translate onto this side. Once again, on the inside, not on the outside. Here we go. Then this one for this side we need, where are we here? So we need this outer circle, right? It's going to be something like this. And then down here, we're going to need this, which looks a little bit like this, right? Now, now here comes a little bit that we don't really calculate. We just have to take the outmost point of this one and the outmost point of this one. And we just have to connect them. And that is going to look like this. We have the rounding there. Let's do the rounding in the back as well. Let's connect this with this here. So once again, where these two lines cross each other and where the same lines on the other side of the cube cross each other. 
So connect and then this connection with this connection. There we go, almost. And now the same thing all over again. I can move this one over onto this. Am I still the camera? Yeah. So it should be looking something like this. All right. This here has to come from this one. There we go. And then on this side, we're simply going to use this here. Like that. And now this one would be connected with this one. Usually I like to go from this point here because then we have a, a smoother transition. There we go. And now we have, basically we don't have it yet because we, just like, just like here in the previous one, where we had the original cut line and the outside of the, the cube, because of the bend, the edge is going to be somewhere in the middle, at least how we perceive it. And here is the same, so the edge comes probably here. There we go. And here it's not really visible because of the angle that we're having. So this is the top of our new nicely rounded cube. I'm going to connect these lines a little bit stronger, and these lines a little bit stronger as well. And here and here. All right, now the same thing for uh, the bottom part. Again, creating these two cross Process need to be connected. One, and I'm going to connect here and here. I'm going to be two. There we go. This one I can simply bring down once again to here. Nice rounding here. So on this side, we're going after this. So we need the shorter one should be something like this. And then on this side, we also have the shorter one. Should be something like this. And now we have to reach out a little bit and make it a little bit rounder there. That's how I like to draw it. Uh, it's, it's because you have a rounding there. Let's just make sure to do that. I don't know how to explain exactly. Because, well, I, I know how to explain. Let me just quickly draw another cube here and let me also draw the insides of it so we have this and that what you can do is actually just connect these lines and then it should be correct but I, I like to round it instead of just connecting it so let me do just the insides again one can you see this of course I'm not in the camera sorry but it's, it's okay it wasn't that important for that okay so I have this one and I have this one. And you would have to just connect this to make it look rounded because this will unify it anyways. I just like to make it a little bit more rounded because then it gives a nicer effect. So we come here. Now we need the back part as well, which basically we have it all there. It's already constructed for us. So now we take uh, this comes here, right? And this is the not too curvy one. There we go. Uh, from up, we have this one that will come here. This is the shorter or super curvy one. And on this side, we have another curvy one, which would come something like this. So now I can connect this lower one and I'm going to just nicely curve this out, just like that. There, and then I can connect this as well and here as well there we go and now we have the back side as well and we're only missing this one and we're missing one side so we need to connect this with uh where are we here in the back i feel like yeah there we go what's happening here we have this one coming down which goes like this quite strong then on this side we have this is the more relaxed one and then on this side on the inside we have another relaxed one but we actually don't need that one there so i'm just going to nicely round this one up connect these two here connect these two on the lower part as well make sure that there we have it a nicely rounded 
square. So this is a little bit complicated, so I hope you could follow everything. Uh, let me draw another one and I am just going to do it my way without constructing everything. So if I have a nice square, obviously I'm not going to draw through it this time around because let's say I'm somewhat in a hurry as well and I sort of can see in my mind if I pay attention how it should look, draw through. What really helps me though, if I construct at least the first mini cube, which would be this one, right? And then I know, okay, so long one here, probably more angled one here, but definitely this super angled one here. So this I already know. So I know this, I just have to take somewhere here. Uh, actually, it helps if I do this as well. There we go, because I know that this one will just be copied there. And then this one will be copied back here. So that will be like this. And that's sort of it here. I just close up the upper part. Uh, this will probably hang over a little bit like that and we know why. And I can create also the lower part of the square. And this comes up. So usually this goes like that. It does help if I create. <laughs> no matter what I say, it helps quite a bit if I create these construction lines as well. Because there we go. That that's how much that helps. I know this will come that way. And then this will probably come here. And then here we have the other bending side that we don't see that well which would be somewhere there yeah so you can see the difference obviously i i can construct it because i sort of know it but it is much easier for me as well if i know where exactly to put these things and then just close this off and close this off as well and make sure to bring this down here and with that, we have another rounded little cube. Let me put some colors on it as well, just so we have a nice colored version. Anyways, this is also the end of the video. I hope you did understand what I was trying to say. Uh, it's a little bit complicated and I find it quite hard to explain this. So I do hope you could uh, take away something from it. Anyways, if you like this uh, video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram if you would like to see more drawing related uh, uploads. And as always, the most important thing is that you guys have a great week. So see you guys next time. Bye bye.